All right, so now everybody, where were we, right? Where were we, right? Okay, so now, we did echo oracle underscore home and echo oracle underscore SID, right? So now everybody, what if I want to go from one database to another database or one oracle home to another oracle home, right? So we have two databases, stage and prod. So all we have to do, instead of changing the dot bash profile, right, we can just simply do this command, right? We do what? Export capital Oracle underscore SID to equal to what? Prod. Export capital Oracle underscore SID equals prod. Don't put a dollar. Did you put it? Export Oracle SID equals prod. Are you doing this in SQL? Gotta do this in OS, guys. <laughs> Leave your SQL stuff in SQL. Leave your. Huh? Yes. Tilda. Tilda. Do, do this in Tilda. From Tilda. CD export dollar Oracle underscore. No space. No space. Export space Oracle underscore SID equals prod. No space. No space whatsoever. Only space is between the export and Oracle SID. Everything else, no space. No space. Right? Has everybody done that? Everybody done that? Now, let us now do what? Let's echo. Okay, fine. We've exported. What, what, does, this, what does this command do? It cha what you're saying is, it, cha yes, it changes dynamically. It's not going to change it in, physically in the, in the dot bash profile, right? But it's an easier way for you to change from, to go from one database to another database. Do you understand what I'm saying? So now we're going to do export dot Oracle, export Oracle SID, Oracle SID equals prod. Now, let us verify right before we do connect, right? Right before we do connect. Let us do what? Echo, no. We do echo dollar what? Oracle underscore SID. Yes, sir. I'm way behind you. You're way behind? I go back to, I can't remember the command. I don't have my No, exit. Just exit? Yeah, just type exit. Type exit. Uh-huh. Now, do export Oracle underscore SID equals prod and echo dollar Oracle SID. So everybody should see prod. When you do echo, you know what an echo is? Whatever you throw out comes back to you. Right? Echo. Right? Has everybody done echo space dollar Oracle underscore SID? Has everybody done that? Right? That means you, no space. Do space you, you, put space, you put space, space after that. Let's put, uh huh. Yes. Backspace. There you go. Enter. Now you do echo space dollar oracle underscore SID. All caps. Right? So everybody should see what? Everybody should see what? Prod. Prod, right? Now everybody do SQL, um, do SQL plus slash SSDBA. Come on. Do, if you see, as long as you see prod, I want you to do SQL plus slash SSDBA. We are now connecting to a different database. SQL plus slash as sys dba. Oh. Slash as what? Sys dba. Right? Are you all connected? Now, let's now verify what database we've connected to. Do what? Select what? How do I know what my database name is? Select name from what? Select name from VDR database. You understand what I'm saying? Very good. Select name from V dollar database. Right? Select name, everybody. We captured all that. Yeah. Everything on that. Yeah. So definitely. Yeah. Definitely we're gonna post that. Okay. Yeah, let's let's follow that, yeah. Yes sir. You good? Sure. Let's go. Tell me. Oh, okay. Um in it prod. Start up the, 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 the. Oh, you didn't export. Export Oracle. Oh, you don't have, do you, do you have prod? Oh, you don't have a prod database. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 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 So now export back to your, when you, 
what database did you have? Uh, I, I had uh, two, uh, um, Do um, no cat. Do you know? My, I don't know what your database name is. Cat your etc or tab. Cat. Yes. Uh, it's there. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one, you know, we didn't really create it. You only 30% done. So export back to ORCR. Okay. Cool. Export back to that one. Are you good? You understand what I'm saying? All right. So now everybody, has everybody done what? Select name from what? V dollar database. Has everybody done that? Select name from V dollar database. Right? Everybody's done that? Yes. Cool? Now, what is the name of your database? Prod, right? Yeah. You see? Now you can start doing your thing, right? You see how easy it is? You connect from one database to another database to slip and maneuver from one database to another database, right? So now everybody hit exit. So now, let's say everybody, watch this. So let's say I wanted to go to a different Oracle home. We're not gonna do this, but let's say you wanted to go to a different Oracle home. It's the same thing. Now I want to go from one house to another house. Let's say there's a database called star. That's another house that I want to connect to. The first thing I would do is what? I have to export dollar oracle underscore, export dollar oracle underscore home to equal. I have to put the location for the oracle home, right? It's gonna, ex it's, it's gonna export me there. You know what I'm saying? I'd export oracle underscore home, but I have to put the path, the entire path. Right, so let's say it's um, DB home underscore two. Let's say we're in, in one. I can't just do echo oracle underscore home. Right? I have to do what? Export, export oracle underscore home equals what? The path. The path right, and then we'll do that. Yes, good. All right, so question. Um, so it, are you showing, is this export command, is yes. it showing us how to, Switch yes, databases? we're just switching databases. We're going from one house, from one database to another database. And then, and then, and then you can do your stuff. Through the door by connecting as DBA. Uh, yes. As a plus yes. Slash it's just another database. But instead of you having to manually every time you want to go from one database to another database, changing the .bash profile, bouncing the server, and all that, you can just go from one database to another database by just using the export command. Amazing. But this doesn't so you do. Change. No, it doesn't change it physically. No. Yeah, it doesn't. No, no, huh? The what? The, the, the S. Ah? Um, ah? The What's that have to do with? What I have to do? With, that has nothing to do with anything. No. You mean the dot back profile? The dot back. The back. It doesn't change it physically, right? You don't have to manage. It's just it's just tedious. Okay. Unless you want it now to be the default, the main one that you want moving forward. Ah, then you go back and change it. Now understand one thing. One last thing before we actually. Start with what, 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 what I'm supposed to teach today. Listen to me very carefully. When you export, right? When you export in that terminal is what is the effect. In that one, listen, every time you open up a terminal, you open up a new tab. That is what we call technically, it's called a session. When you open up a terminal or a tab, that's a session. Understand that, right? But watch this. When you export from one database to another database, right? It only affects that session in your end, that tab. If you go to another tab, all right, it doesn't affect anything. That's true. I had that yes. confusion one time. Yes. I was trying to do one yes. session, the same thing in two sessions. No. And I couldn't get the Yes. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Right? If you, it only affects that session. Only affects that session. If you go to a different session, it's different, right? Now the only way, now the only way, like uh, the only way that it, that the dot batch profile, whatever change you make in the dot batch profile is permanent globally, is if you bounce the server. You have to change it, bounce the server, then every new tab that you open will read the dot batch profile. Doesn't matter, right? But for instance, if I export to a different database, right? If I do export Oracle SID, right? Now I'm in what? Let's say star database. If I then go back into, and I do SQL plus slash or SysDBA, blah, 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 I'm going to my star database. You guys get that, right? Right? But if I open up a new tab and I do SQL plus slash or SysDBA, no, you're not going to be in star. You're going to be in whatever the dot batch profile is. It affects only one. Have I made myself clear on this? Right? If I export to a different database on one tab, right? 
export Oracle SID equals prod. Then I do SQL plus slash sysdba, right? What I'm gonna see is prod, cool? If I open up a new tab and I do SQL plus slash sysdba, I am not gonna see prod necessarily. I'm going to see what database is in the dot bash profile. It only affects exports, it's not global. It's not a global command. It only affects one tab at a time. If you want to go on this other tab and see star again, you have to export again. Make sense? All right. No, but if you, you go to uh, a different session, a different session. Yes. You can work with that, that session right if one is there. Yes, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. It's not global. Yeah. Unless the only way something becomes global in a Dubash profile is once you have bounced the server. Because whatever, once you bounce the server, once the server is starting back up, what it reads all the files into its memory, including the .bash profile, all the hidden files, everything is read into its memory. You understand what I'm saying? So it refreshes automatically. Let me say you, you yes. Open it, open it, open it, open it. Then you do, after you you do what? If you, let's say you do echo, right? Export, sorry. Echo, okay. Difference. Yes. Why you use a different database? Yes. You get that, that terminal. Yes. You're working on it. Yes. When you bounce it, when you bounce what? The, the new terminal open. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. When you bounce the what? Let's say you close it up. You just close it. Yeah. Okay. Or maybe say you exit. Yes. So you exit, then you go to camp, or you want to open it, then see. No, no. When you exit mm -hmm. or when you close. Yeah. Two different things, bro. Yeah. Which one is it? Exit. Type exit? Yeah. Or you hit the X? No, X. Type exit. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you're still in that one, well, that one terminal. It goes back, yeah. To that same terminal. No. No, no, it's still in the same. Yeah. As long as you're in that terminal, you're good. Okay. As long as you're in, as long as you didn't close. Oh, yeah. As long as you, it's still in there, you're good. It's still whatever you exported is still there. Go back. Yes, okay. yes. But once you open up a new tab, uh, uh, it, whatever's in that dot bash profile. Okay. So if you open up a new tab, yes. you need to source dot bash profile to get. Not the, um, it depends on what you're trying to do. To go to what was in the uh, what was in the original dot bash, you don't need to, because when you started up your server, mm -hmm. right, it knows already what's in the dot bash profile. Listen to me. Is that just to go back in the same uh, session you're in? I like I actually like the question he's asking. Right? Listen. Let's say, for instance, you didn't know about this export command. Mm, you just didn't know about it. Uh, you forgot about it. Right? You just didn't know. So now you said, okay, I know I have two databases and I want to connect from, I want to go from stage to prod. The way you would do it if you didn't know any better, right, is you'd have to open up the dot bash profile, you have to change it from stage to prod, save it, right? And then escape WQ, enter, you saved it, right? Now, then you have to source your dot bash profile. No, not to go back. You have to source your .bash profile so that the operating system knows that, that you, listen, when you start up the server, right, what was in the .bash profile is in its memory, right? You've changed it physically, but you haven't changed the memory. It's that, just because you change something doesn't mean you've changed the memory. You understand what I'm saying? So once you change the .bash profile, right, Linux still doesn't know that you've made a change until you source the dot bash profile. Source makes it re -read. The sourcing and then bouncing. Source just means in this one terminal that I've typed the command source, right? Now it is rereading the dot bash profile. Every other terminal, every other session I open, no, it's not global, right? But yes, when you source it, it's gonna refresh Linux memory in that terminal until you bounce the server. Now it's global. It now knows every session that you open, it will know the change that you made. 